Hello guys, in this video we will see how to create a virtual air hose in Snowflake. First we will see the definition. See here, the definition is a warehouse provides the resources such as CPU, memory, temporary storage to perform the following operations like DML or other options. Okay. See, we have two types of air hoses, standard and Snowflake optimized. Now connect to the Snowflake account. If you, have, if you don't have Snowflake account, then go through the video which I have created. So create it and connect to it. Okay. Let me connect. See, this is my Snowflake account. So to create warehouse, click on admin, then warehouses. See, I have these two warehouses and the sizes are XS means small and XL means large. Status is suspended. Clusters 0, clusters running are 0, queued 0, owner is account admin, resume 2 hours back. Okay. So to create a new warehouse, we have to click on this warehouse. This is one GUI method. The other method is by going to worksheet. I will show you that option also. So first we will see the GUI method. Click on warehouse, then provide the name. R2 schools underscore WH. WH is just is just for meaningful. That is warehouse. Till, okay. No need to provide this underscore WH also. Then here type is stand. We have as I told you we have two types of warehouses. Standard and snowpark optimizer see standard warehouses can be used for most workload including snowpark but snowflake but snowpark optimized warehouses offer larger memory and cache they are often used for memory intensive operations okay for big operations we use this one but for this demo purpose i am going with standard sizes see here we have the different sizes like x small to x large Based on the sizes, the charges will be changed. Okay. Let me show you the sizes. See, we have this. We can go through the sizes and it credits per second. Okay. You can see the information like billing purpose. Okay. That is the one way. So, next, advanced options. See, auto resume. If you want to auto resume, then we have to select this one. If you want auto suspend, which means whenever there is no activity, in warehouse, warehouse will be suspended after 5 minutes, it shares the cost, okay. Then if you want to enable multi cluster house, you have to click on this one and you have to select the min and max clusters. So max we can, max or min clusters we can give up to 10 only. Here also same, okay. Then next scaling policy. See here we have standard and economy. We have different uses for these policies, okay. Next query acceleration we want to provide the scale factor we have to give i'm not going to change anything i'm going to uncheck this one then we have to click on create warehouse see warehouse is created its status is started first we will verify click on this r2 schools warehouse click on it. see owner is account admin See, there are no activities performed because this is freshly created warehouse. See, these are the details of the warehouse. If you want to grant the privileges, you have to click on this create this plus privilege. Select the role. See, these are the roles available in my Snowflake account. Suppose if you want to grant privilege to this is admin role, then we have to select the role from this drop down. Then in the privileges section, we have to select the privilege that we need to provide. Suppose if I want to provide usage, click on grant privileges. See, it is created. Again, if you want to add another for this same role, select it and select the privilege. Okay, that is the way. But at present, I am going to delete this one. I will show you what will happen. Remove it. Click on it. Rework update see that privilege gone now go back to warehouses open any worksheet click on create new worksheet by sql worksheet then try to use role sysadmin then use warehouse artoscus underscore this is our newly created warehouse Put semicolon at the end of the statement. Execute one by one. 
this axis now execute this one see object does not exist operation cannot be performed because this user or role this role doesn't have the usage privilege on this warehouse so we have to grant it click on here click on here worksheets then go to admin warehouses click on the particular warehouse scroll down at the end see these two are the query history that we have performed okay again click on privilege add privilege then select the role that is sysadmin then select the privilege uses then click on grant privileges it is done wait until this yeah privilege privileges granted now go to the worksheets this is the correct worksheet now select both the comments and click on this execute button see now error gone we have successfully connected to auto school sphere see also here see we have successfully connected okay this is the one way now if you want to create a database in this warehouse just give create or replace database test select the query or command click on this run button see database test is created but still we are unable to find okay click on here this three dots and refresh see new database is created until now we have created warehouse by using gui method the same commands we can run the same process we can do here also okay let me change the account here account admin remove this commands we can run here or we can run snow sql also snow sql hyphen c demo if you haven't installed snow sql and configured then go to the link provided in the video description and install the snowflake and configure hit enter now verify the list of the warehouses so warehouses put semicolon at the end of the statement see we have these warehouses like complete prod and art schools which we have created here also we can verify so warehouses select it and run okay this is okay now we can create warehouse by using sql statements okay so use the command create let me show you the syntax see this is the syntax create or replace warehouse if not exist then we have to provide the name with we have to provide any of these object properties okay like warehouse type standard as snow park optimized warehouse size these are the different sizes and min max clusters these two are option okay and these are scaling policy auto suspend here we have to give number of the days okay auto resume true or false initial suspend which means you want to suspend initially we have to give true otherwise false resource monitor comment enable query acceleration query acceleration max scale factor that we have seen in gui method okay go to the command prompt or worksheet both are fine okay now run this one so remove this comment we can execute commands here or this is no sql both are same okay so create or replace warehouse then provide the name name i am giving schools underscore excel means x large with warehouse underscore size equals to in singular double quotes give hex hyphen large close it put the semicolon at the end of the statement and hit enter see we have successfully created school underscore excel warehouse now go to the or simply type here show warehouses to verify see new warehouse that is school underscore excel is created see here the policy type standard okay see we have the min clusters information max information and everything we can we got the here we got output also we can verify run the same 
so warehouses other the changes reflects here or not click on execute see one more warehouse is created in the list also we can get okay even if you go to worksheets admin warehouses see here we have the new warehouse if you want to describe the particular warehouse information we have to use describe warehouse and provide the warehouse let me show you control l to clear screen disk warehouse then provide the warehouse name school underscore excel put the semicolon see this is the information like it is created here the kind of the object is warehouse and if you want to modify the warehouse you have to use the alter if you want to drop the warehouse you have to use the drop house drop warehouse and drop it let me drop that newly created drop warehouse then school underscore excel it is success see here warehouse is successfully dropped okay. so so warehouses put semicolon it is s is missing see only three warehouses are showing like complete h here also if you go to the sql refresh see the newly created warehouse has been gone if you want to drop warehouse from this console that is using geo mode click on the warehouse then here click on these three buttons then click on drop it is asking confirmation so if you click on drop warehouse it will be removed click on it see warehouse has been dropped so in this video we have seen two different ways to create warehouse in snowflake by using geo method and using sql statements for more snowflake videos please subscribe my channel thank you